hope your front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time, and nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Here we go. So my team looks like this. We've got a guard Croxy Gore, two block Saurus, two sidestep skinks, three rerolls and Apo, not that much money. And my opponent has they're not dead yet, that's true. Um I'm not dead! The opponent has two rookie golems, a tackle white, uh a block wolf, a niggled zombie, um three rerolls. Right. We're not getting anything. <clears throat> He's getting 100k, so I guess a bribe would make sense since he doesn't have that much money, but two babes wouldn't be bad for him either. Quite glad he doesn't have the 50k to spring for a wizard. He gets a bribe, yeah. just a name so match day three video is actually uh okay well that's good that's good uh it's a lot easier to fix as well <clears throat> i thought i did fix that actually well i'll check anyway here we go necro with the bribe against my lizards i lost the toss i'm defending let's go this set up. No, that's my anti wandering set up. That's not good. We want guard there. We want the block guys here, I guess. Oh, there's a source there. That's interesting. He's got enough movements to bother me here. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Would I go for that? I don't think so. Yay, symmetry. I'm kind of glad he doesn't have guard here. Might even opt for this one. Yeah, I think I will. <clears throat> this is a bit easier not to get frenzy trapped. I want two, three, four, five, six. But it does protect the skinks better. Yeah, I like this. If you didn't have tackle, I would probably be moving these guys out. Do I feel confident against this team? Well, I think Phil's a pretty good coach. At least I uh, remember people saying as much. Uh, Necro can be a challenge. I mean, he does have a tackle, which is good against the Skinks. He does have Claw, which is good against the Saurus. But I do think I can outstrength him fairly well. So that's quite nice. And he doesn't have Dirty Player, which makes the Bribe a little bit less scary. And the way I've positioned here, he'd have to blitz one of these guys in order to get two dice here because of my guard. So that's quite nice. Forcing him to fight the center rather than the flank, which is probably good for me. First couple of punches could be very telling here. Just fixing my noise filter. This should be better audio. Ah, he's choosing not to uh, not to fight my Saurus. That's good. This is this is why we do this, right? The um, if you front load the line of scrimmage uh, enough, then some teams like uh, Necro. Uh, are going to have a very hard time dealing with that. And this is also why guard is such an amazing skill. If I didn't have guard, he'd probably be blocking the LOS, but now he can't, can't really afford to. Which saves me some punches. Very nice. Also, since he doesn't have a ghoul, he's going to have to carry with a wolf. Which... 
Um, which probably means less worrying about Frenzy. If I can remove the other wolf, that would help a bunch. But I don't really have much Mighty Blow. Just the Crocs, and he's that's not his job. Right, here it goes. Well, I, I think he just wants to make this one die block here, which is fine. I wouldn't put my white there, though, in case of a perfect defense. But other than that, <clears throat> I guess on a quick snap it helps him a little bit. Yeah, the zombie in the middle is not a bad shout. Uh, okay. He does get the quick snap, damn it. Well, that means this guy's getting blocked, that guy's getting blocked. Hmm. I was expecting him to skip this guy, but I guess this works too. Put two assists there, block there, block there, yeah. <clears throat> Makes sense. Necro fast, lizard fast, lizard better strength, necro claw, zombies and skinks. Yeah, zombies and skinks is is uh, a bit of ups and a bit of downs. I mean, my average strength isn't that much higher. It is it is considerably higher still though. He doesn't go to block AVQC, which is... Well, he might still, actually. And given that he put this guy here, I guess he shall. With the loner, though. Yeah, quick snap is really the bane of this uh, formation. Oh, I see I still have the uh, skull ball selected. Probably shouldn't have gone for that one against Necro. So he didn't put his white on the side where he can blitz, blitz through and hit a skink, so that's kind of good. Wow, we've got Barry against Harry. That's nice. Uh, the ball doesn't do anything, no. It's really just the look of it. <laughs> it's just that, uh, flavor-wise, this seems more like his ball than mine. That's what I didn't like about it. So I guess we're going to see him blitzed. That makes sense. Uh, the balls do absolutely nothing... Only cosmetics. Oh, um, Kublai Khan is uh, Tripitaka, whom I played um, a teaching game against uh, the other day. <clears throat> ah, you see him in the stream guest list, which is why you're confused about it. I get that. So just a push, that's nice means the crocs so the crocs is still free to reposition that might be important but we do suffer a knockdown there so i guess he wants to foul this but he doesn't have the loner for it so i'm just gonna have to gfi to get it and he'll still need to get the ball ha huh. Yeah, okay, so he wants to uh, wants to keep the crocs busy. That makes a lot of sense, actually. So I think keeping one Saurus back to Blitz with might be a good idea. Then again, he's not going to run out here right now. No, I think I'll just connect everyone. Blitzing the tackle would be good. Five, six, eight would have to be a non... <clears throat> non-block blitz, though. That's alright. Well, I do like... No, uh, I do like using uh, no ghouls on Necro, actually. I do think it's sensible. Which is the... Um, 
Oh wow, the niggle is on my uh on my crocs, that's nice. So I'd like to be here. Here would you could conceivably see me surf, so let's not do that. Go here. Stand up. There. What's him? Yay, got one. Um, I guess we can kind of keep this guy back for now. Here's actually quite a lot, I think. Let's see. Does the Crocs want to play? It does. We're not going to follow that. Um, let's send him that way. Come on, Niggle! Yay! Yeah, the Niggle did it too! All right, so now that we've got this, that, and the other thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, so I could be somewhere like here. And same logic there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, here as well. And everyone else is kind of in a good spot. All right. Hi there, head cleaner. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, Niggle and Mighty Blow were both needed to remove that zombie. And it helps because now the Crocs is free again and he'll need to put something else on him. Can't really get two dice on the Crocs with Claw. That's kind of good. If I'd followed this, he could have gotten two dice. <clears throat> so that's why I didn't. Um, my lizards are 1200-ish, and the necro are 1100-ish, so they have one bribe. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty new teams. Um, so as you can see, I've got a guard, uh, two block, two sidestep, as well as an apple and a third reroll. So pretty early on, and he's got a block, a tackle, and um, that's about it, really. And a niggle! Yay! So I guess this flesh golem is going to blitz. Fair enough. Okay, gets the knockdown, which means this guy's also taking a beating next. I, uh, personally, I'm really more of a fan of high team value play. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I might have a hit on the wolf, depending on how this plays out. Yeah, he needs that to screen here. Yeah, otherwise, the, uh, the uh, Crocs would actually have a blitz on where he is right now, so this is sensible. Yeah, knowing it's a league game does give it more value. I feel the same way, which is why uh, I signed up for five um, <clears throat> five private leagues with weekly schedules instead of uh, just playing more in the champion ladder. Oh, that's nice. That's good. He still gets two dice with the zombie, but it means I get a block here. Excellent. Not sure whether this is better for me than a push, though. Because on a push, I wouldn't suffer another block. <clears throat> Might be. Hmm. Yeah, this is getting interesting. It's getting very interesting. this is a knockdown, then that's a gap. Oh, 
Oh, just a push, which means he frees up that dude. <clears throat> kind of near that, I guess. He does follow this, which is understandable. Ooh, that's too bad. If he went where he was first going, this would have been a lot nicer for me. But some good blocks coming. That's good. So sidestepper goes here. Some other skinks go on him. Stand up. You're there. Rookie goes there as well. Lock here. Yay. That's good. Sure, I'll follow that. <clears throat> wow, another zombie armor broken. Excellent. We've got two dice with block here. Don't mind if I do. Just a push. All right. Put them there. Follow. This one's a bit more important, I'd say. Yay, it's good too. Mm, sure, I'll follow that as well. This one's kind of nice if it works. Uh, I'd say it's even worth a reroll. Yes. There. Follow. Yes. And here, I think. Actually, here might be better. Because then, if this works, which kind of could. Yay! <clears throat> we have Prancel Tail Strength 5 on the ball. That's kind of nice. This is also not too weak. So we can tag this guy, probably, with... Hello. Why isn't my mouse working? Oh, there it is. Yes, these hackers! Damn them! Here's not a bad spot, I think. So now the one thing I have to think about is... Half dice, which is not that, that scary, I guess. I'm not going to mark him. Where should he go, is the question. Here we'll do, I think. No, it's not bad. Not bad. There and follow. Yes. <coughs> um. Yeah, so verbal, this happens uh, usually. So when, when I play fumble games, I get probably 20, 30 people watching. And the cyanide games, if I play a couple in a row, get between... 80 and 150 people watching so yeah it's um fumble games are a lot less popular with the viewers and if i were only in this for views and money and stuff i would probably uh skip fumble altogether but it's where i grew up it's um it's got a lot of fluff it's a it's a great place to play and uh yeah i can see myself play there for a long time still but not as much as i used to So he's in quite a pickle, because there's no one he can free up easily. And between this wolf and that wolf, he's only got a half die on the crocs. And dodging out is um, a 4+. Plus. You chose Jimmy over me during the fumble game. I don't quite get what you're saying, quite composer. 
during the fumble game. Oh, right. So when I was streaming just now, uh, you decided to watch Jimmy. But now that I'm uh, streaming Blubble 2, you're coming back. Now I get it. All right. Thanks for that. <laughs> for coming back, that is. <clears throat> but yeah, I understand. I mean, um, it's it, it's not made for looking at. And streaming is about stuff that you look at. So I can, I can understand. But <clears throat> I do feel like... Uh, um, I owe a lot to Fumble. It's it's what got me started on Blubble. Well, after a brief bit with uh, <clears throat> Blubble 1. <sighs> Hacked. Cracked. Whatever. Um, it's it's where I, where I learned to play, where I played for ages. And um, yeah, I, I do enjoy playing there, even though it doesn't stream as well. All right, so this door just oh wow, oh wow, the one in three, oh, and the one in nine, ouch, oh, and he's KO too. Wow, wow, this is a brilliant, brilliant start for me, of course. Let's see, where are my block guys? Can I get that? One's over here, one's over there. Let's see, can we do this? We can do this. He's gonna want to send for him there. I'm not sure whether I dare to block with the crocs. Let's read this guy up. That's good. Let's go there and follow. One, two, three, four, five, six. I love the movement on Saurus. Once they're disconnected, you can really, really move them around. <clears throat> well, if you've if you've played on uh, on Fumble, then um, it gets a lot easier to understand what's going on. I guess. So this, if I don't blitz with, if I don't block with the crocs, then this is the guy that should do the trick. I think I need this guy here now. Or maybe there. Because it's a good safety step. Uh, I've still got this guy for picking up. Let's try the blitz without the crocs first. If that's a... Ooh. Whoa, 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 that's not good. I don't like that at all. In fact, it also ruins that blitz that I was just talking about. So the skin could two die him away again. And then we'd have the blitz. Or I could three die him with the crocs now. That's probably better. Yeah, let's do that. Three die with the crocs now. Yeah, three dice, good. We put him here. If I follow that, I lose the guard assist there, but I'm going to blitz that wolf anyway. So yes, I will follow. Not down. I think I want to blitz from this side. Oh, oh, that's actually not possible. I, for a moment, I thought it was bad pathing, but it was actually correct. Let's see if we can do that. Yay, that's good. One puppy down. Down boy. Not out though. Going here is a bit of a risk, of course, in terms of surfs, but I think I can afford that. I think the, uh, the pros outweigh the cons there. For picking up, it might be nice to use the sidestepper, actually because of where the ball is which means he's not blocking one two three four five six seven eight would be here that's not bad actually and this guy stays here for emergencies dodging out oh yes dodge does it the pickup oh the pickup's good too i am such a filthy lucker sometimes And this also makes his dodge even harder. Now the one dodge that could save him here really is this guy. 
Sorry, this guy. So, let's see. How, how far does this guy get? Here, nope. So it would be two dodges for him to get there. Let's try this one first. If it's good and doesn't use the dodge skill, then I'll try the second as well. Yay! Well, <clears throat> as halves go, this one is off to an amazing start. Yeah, seed. When I win, it's always luck, isn't it? Yeah, worrying about the surf is kind of silly because it would be a three plus half die. Or hacking, yes. Obviously hacking. Always. Always. <laughs> if I could do that, though, do you think I would rely on you for a PHP script? <clears throat> well... Phil seems to be stuck, which, you know, to be fair, he, he is. I've got one reroll and five turns, so I've got enough time to hand off. Sorry, to hand off to a Saurus. Yeah, your opponents do sometimes uh, <clears throat> call stuff out like that. I'm glad I got the ball on the side stepper, though. Otherwise, this would still be uh, kind of risky ish. Although this is the six plus dodge. I guess you could do a five four as well. Yeah, not a good place to be here. One minute left, Phil. One minute left. Is there a barcode below the cam spot? Hi there, Kilza. Ouch. After three minutes of careful deliberation, he suffers a turnover and a stun. Oh, but he also causes a stun. All right. <clears throat> so that means we've got the Crocs free. We've got Bav Bavrian there. We've got a. No, oh, this is all one die stuff. But I guess we can make it two. See if we can get the crocs here. That helps. That makes uh, handoff play far more appealing. So we put him there. 
Then we block the sky. So this could be a blitz to free him up. Yeah, let's do that. Yay, it's good. Right, so he goes there. Follow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Let's just go here then. <clears throat> uh, this means we kind of need this guy there. And I also want this guy here. Well, here will do, actually. Hmm. There. And there. Here we go! Oh, got it in one go! Wow. That's just nasty. <clears throat> and a one die to top it all off. Wow. This is quite the drive. Well, the, conce the the whiners can be funnier than the quiet conceders, at least. <clears throat> Depending on how they whine and whether they have a sense of humor about it. Yeah, absolutely true. Absolutely true. League play, this is one reason why league play is so much better. Oh, caps. So, looks like Bath Bavrian might have a touchdown soon. This is, uh, this is next to impossible to stop. Also, still doesn't get any surfing options because my sidesteppers are in the right spot. <clears throat> in fact, he's going to be very hard-pressed to... Um... <laughs> nice, Saima. Uh, he's going to be very hard-pressed to, to uh, prevent me from stalling here, I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Yeah. Right, so this wolf just tries to get somewhere so that he can be relevant next turn. Yeah, this makes sense. Although, although, it might also come back to bite him. Because, yeah, you don't want that boat down, do you? Which means you're now here. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of has to, doesn't he? Yay, sidestep. Sidestep for the win. Right, so he goes there. No real need to let myself get forced into anything worse than that. He'll stand up. Crocs could three die, I guess. He'll be here. He'll be here. If we blitz this, then we can go there and the loner skin can go out there. Oh, we don't actually need him to go out there. Because we've got two dice right here. Yay. Follow. Sure. So we've also got two dice there. Yes. Shouldn't follow that for surfing reasons. <clears throat> oh, and apparently I don't need to because he's also knocked out. So then we get a blitz here. Try and kill a puppy while we're at it. Oh, just a push. Tempted to just follow that, actually. Might really help my stall. I can even just leave this guy here, to be honest. Don't 
Three die on the tackle. What? Oh, wow. That's a nice three die. <laughs> yeah, sometimes there's really good, uh, really good uh, team names coming out of chat. I mean, uh, this team name, you're a lizard, Harry, uh, was from Diog. Yes, I claim no contribution to that. Yeah, actually, that's why the wolf is down in a phantom fox. He tried to blitz the side such skink, who sidestepped into the line and then out, and then he had to dodge back out to not get surfed. Yep, yeah, that's that's what it is. <clears throat> Side slippers are uh, are kind of helpful here. Karkurg, pause, and Rex. Two, three, four, five, six. Can't reach. Oh, he's got the power. All right. Three, four, five, six. Just as done, though. Just as done. That's okay. We can get. We can keep this secure. I'd say. Which is nice because it makes it pretty hard to get even a one die here. <clears throat> Claw doesn't hurt you if it can't block you. Yeah, this makes sense, I guess. What's there? Dodge is good. GFI is also good. But a push is not enough if you do not have tackle. Oh, harsh. He's going to reroll this, I guess. We've got two more turns. Yes, but just another kind of push. Yeah, still going to be pretty hard to stop. All right, uh, all right, Phantom Fox. You did miss the cheeky 5 plus handoff verbal, and it worked on the first go. It didn't even need a reroll. What are the odds? Well, about 1 in 3. Oh! Well, that's one way to deal with the wolves. Jeez. Let's try this guy. Yes, works. He's going to stand firm, I guess. No, it doesn't really need to. Oh, <clears throat> oh of course, I get to d direct his push back. Right, so then we've got a block there. Worrying less and less about frenzy here. But just in case, let's put him there, because now his surf becomes difficult to impossible here. Go meet this one. Just a push. But that is enough to free up the crocs. Who can then go on to the wolf? So right now he's looking at a 5 plus dodge. Which I can make a 6 by going here. And there. However, I could also just block it, I guess. Let's 
So this guy blitzes. Yes, success. Puts him there. Now I do not follow because I want to assist here. Where a push would be fine. But a vote down not really. <clears throat> Knockdown would be better, of course. Yay. Jeez. Bloody hell. Oh, at least this one regens. What is dead may never die. Both wolves out. This is a massacre. Jeez. That's just nasty. I don't even know where to go with this guy. It doesn't really matter at this point. Wow. Well, this doesn't leave him with that much choice. He does have a tackle blitz on the skink. I guess. Yeah, well done, Eidolon. Got himself a casualty. I love lizards for the same reason. Especially when they have a ton of guard, they are so much fun. Doesn't take the tackle hat. Yeah, that makes sense, uh, verbal. That does make sense. Yeah, he doesn't really have that much to save the reroll for, does he? But the draw does seem relatively unlikely. Missing a wolf, three KOs. Uh, no babe, just uh, uh, only one KO roll as well, because this is a stolen drive. Uh, I guess the score is pretty close to guaranteed at this point. So what are we looking at? This guy is useless here, so he can blitz... There. Four, five, six, seven. Sure. Let's do that. Yeah, always, always verbal. And one of those three is good. Yay, three eye blocks. Not good enough. Four, five. Um, six. Seven. Might as well, right? Three die zombie. And since I don't really suffer any adverse effects. I'll just reroll this one. Oh, I did reroll it. Quite literally so. Hmm. Push both down skull into push both down skull. That's alright. He's still looking at half dies, I think. Yeah, he can't really. He can't get a one die, really. Okay, that was turn seven. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> Don't die. Don't die. Okay. Well, that was an eventful first half. <clears throat> yeah, I was looking for where that was. Right.
update. So they're off for a halftime break, 1-0 leading, numbers advantage, pretty good stuff. Wolf is out, one zombie stays out, but the white comes back, that's the important one. And that means we've got 11 versus 9, and are receiving. It also means he's going to be pretty hard-pressed to use that bribe by now. So ideally, Bath Bavrian would score the next touchdown as well, although getting it on Zacharel would not be bad, but I guess Zacharel can throw a block somewhere. <clears throat> All right. Looking pretty good, I guess. The skink should be my carrier. These guys should be somewhere around yonder. We want this guy here. Wait, what's making that noise? Why is something making a noise? Is that Discord or something? Should be, shouldn't be. Huh. I guess it is. Let me just quit that then. Alright. Oh, it's probably Discord on my desktop, actually. Sorry about that. Uh, my laptop. Yes. Sorry. Right. <clears throat> uh, back to setups. So what were we doing? We were blocking there. Rock scoring there. Let's see there, probably. With that assist. And then... Get nothing here and here yeah let's not get surfed on a blitz shall we thank you this flank is a bit weaker we need a bit more backup down there yeah this looks almost acceptable Thank you, Fox. Thank you. Yeah, <clears throat> it's definitely one of my favorites. Oh, a touchback! Well, well, well! Who's got three star player points? Bav Bavrian's got three star player points. Guess what? Your job just changed, dude. Right, so here would not be a bad spot to be even if this works. Here would not be a bad spot to be even if this somehow goes to shit. Which is not that likely considering this is to die with block. So in that case we go there. And there. Okay, it can be here. <clears throat> Do we sacrifice this guy to put there? Sure, why not? He doesn't want to focus that direction anyway. Should have really moved that guy before. Oh, that's a pity. He's going to stand firm, obviously. <clears throat> to at least hang on to this uh, Saurus and remain some use. This guy could have moved earlier. Didn't. Yeah, so Bavarian might just score two touchdowns this game if I'm lucky. That would be great. Okay, so this is not a knockdown, which means no... Um, Three die for the Crocs. Let's see if he can manage this two die. Yes, he can. Excellent. There. Follow. 
Smack! Another KO! Ha! Huh, the guy who stayed who stayed out was the Niggle. Nice. Actually, not so nice. I would have preferred the Niggle to be back. This would have been... no. Still been a KO. <clears throat> Actually, yes, this would have been a casualty. This is looking fairly promising. One thing to be wary of is the stand firm getting next to the ball. That could be a problem. But I've got enough of a man advantage that I think I can handle that. Yes, it happens, Quiet Composer. <clears throat> it happens. Still, nice record. Well done. He is three players down, actually. <clears throat> the one wolf didn't app out the other. Sorry, didn't regen. The other did. We've got the Blitz here. Yeah, he does get the stand firm on to the ball. Um, he had three KOs, two came back, one got added afterwards. Okay. So my block isn't free, which means I need to get a knockdown without block, which is a bit of a problem. Then again, even if he I don't get him down, I'm still fairly in control here, right? Go here, lock there. Lock there. Yay, got him. Right, where do we want this skink? Somewhere like there is probably not a bad idea. <clears throat> so let's try this blitz. If it's not a knockdown, I don't even think I'll reroll, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, however, a turnover, I might. Yay, that's better. Thank you. Does he want to stand firm? Interesting question. He didn't. Huh. I think I would have stood firm there. Oh, and stunned him too. Nice. So now this becomes a decent spot. Can we get the crocs in front of there? That would be grand. In here. Or we just put a Saurus there, actually. I'm not so sure. Because if Crocs can get a 3 die here, that's quite alright. Oh, I guess here it will do. And then Saurus goes there. That looks pretty secure. Glad I made that reroll. This stun is quite, quite important here. <coughs> Yeah, that would be cool, uh, Quiet Composer. That would be pretty cool. Surfing a stunned Stand Firm guy is kind of nice. But it might take so much of my time that it might not be worth it.
I think I think starting your necro off without without ghouls is not a bad idea. Oh, got a KO on a Saurus there. Yeah, I, I think it's quite quite a, a sensible start for uh, for Necro. You want your early star player points to go to your wolves anyway. So I don't think he's making a bad call there at all. Right, so this would be a good turn to really swap sides, probably. Go block him down. Four plus dodge with the zombie. Yeah. I wouldn't be sad if you tried that. A lot of room over here. He's probably typing a response, isn't he? Uh, yes, five plus. You're absolutely right. Idea was to scale up the wolves early. Yes, by a reroll, then by ghouls, but 16 star player po point wolf died. So that plan went out the window. Ah, that makes sense. Let's see, block here, just a push. A little bit annoying that. It'd be nice to get a little further. So we go here, block that guy, yay. So I'm thinking what I might do is blitz this guy and then actually bring the <clears throat> crocs all the way around there. I kind of like that idea. Oh, I still didn't put in my SFX, did I? There was a now you know SFX. Ah, so sad. You go here. You're what, where you are. You're... Oh, I like this. Here. This is very nice. Keeps him busy for a turn. And dodge around next one. So we blitz that. Should have really moved him already. Yeah, so that's a knockdown, very nice. In here. Then he can go out there to make it a bit harder to get a good hit on the crocs. And then he can be in here to fill out the screen for now. Yeah, this is quite a lot. I like this. Jesus, type sage.
Yeah, I think he'll need something approaching Miracle <clears throat> to, uh, to manage this match now. Oh, well, that helps a bit. So that frees up the white with that one die. Cheeky that. <clears throat> no, not bad. Not half bad. Well, I guess we switch sides again. <laughs> Might as well, right? Might as well. He does get a blitz on a skink with the GFI, and that's good. <coughs> that's okay. And the skink is fine. Hooray. The white, however, seems to be having trouble. Funny, even without the GFI, I would have been changing directions there. Right, so he stands up. He's been a good, good boy. He blocks this one. Yay. Ooh, another zombie break. So I think we can get some real miles here. Let's see about this guy. Yes, also good. So this block would be kind of nice to be able to do. Four, five, six. You know what? He could make it seven just by standing up. He would also be um keeping this guy busy so i kind of like four five six the crocs isn't on him damn it I miscounted them well that was silly but at least this one's good let's not follow that actually yay more stunned zombies all the stunned zombies so now this guy can go here <clears throat> And this guy can go there. This so one can go here. And let's blitz this. Now this is not completely without risk. But it is effective, yay. If I go here, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's it. I would be risking a rookie or protecting a crocs. So I think that's as well in this case. <clears throat> yeah, this is looking acceptable. You can swing those two around, but I can deal with them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so he's got a three plus three plus half die. Here's fine, thank you. But this does uh, prevent him from moving a lot more. Yeah, so he is going for the 3 plus play then. Hmm, okay. 3, 2, 2 to mark. And then this guy has a 3 plus 3 plus 1 die. Into half die. Good puppy. Do it again. Do it again. Good puppy. Oh, it's not that though. Right, let's see. Where are we at? This. Why don't I see my skills? Because I hit a button. 
Don't really mind coming from here. Don't really mind making it a two die. Push would suffice, I guess. Both down, however, would not. I think the Crocs is not going to move this turn, actually. He's quite in a nice spot there. Okay. So then we go here. And there. And here. Kind of like how that skin is keeping him busy. Okay. <clears throat> That's not that bad. Especially since he lives. Could be next turn even. Don't really mind scoring early since I'm going to be 2-0 up when I do. <clears throat> so he does have a 5 plus half die on me. Yeah, I have I've never tried that. It's it sounds scary though. Because do you then just not leap at all? Because that's that's kind of the consequence, right? I mean you don't want to, to leap into a cage without any reroll. Okay, tackle guy does the job, well that's what the rookie skink's there for, right? The, the loner skink. Oh, merely KO'd. No, thank you. Yeah, this um, this setup with the Crocs in the middle there and the Saurus guarding off this side is really, really doing a splendid job in keeping him busy. He, he can get a one die on the Crocs if he moves this guy in. And then he'd need dice to even get a two die on him, which would go into a one die. Yeah. I'm very happy with how this is playing out, positioning-wise. Do I score on this turn? I mean, it would skill him. <clears throat> Theoretically, I could even break him again. We got another, Le another Leroy here. Question is, would I take the both down? If it were a skink, I might be tempted to take the both down. But on a Saurus who's got the ball, I would rather take a push. Yeah, that's their five plus. He makes the five. Aww. Reroll. Oh! Well, so much for Saurus Ball. At least he's not broken. Well, we can hand off to him. Let's see. Where's my block? Here's my block. What do we really need to do? We need to be friends with the Tackler. So let's see, I guess this is the best candidate for getting blitzed.
how this and then here would be quite a good spot I guess do I even want to make these blocks Yeah, I'm too nice, I suppose. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I really don't. I want these guys to stick around. Here's probably better. Well, here goes! Is it worth a reroll? He's not reaching that. Nope, it's not. <clears throat> well, the reason I'm not making the blocks is because if they are pushes or are boneheads, then this situation is a lot less safe than it is now. That's because right now this guy can't really get out in this direction. And I'm quite happy with that. <clears throat> Yay! So... He's made his one die skull. Yeah, so now he's got a one die blitz here. Ah, oh, another skull! Hooray. That's, that helps. That helps a bunch. Right, so now the wolf wakes up, which changes matters a little bit. Let's see, we blitz this. Yes, good. Put him there. Don't follow. And we go here. Then this guy goes there. This guy goes here. This one's there. I think this is okay, actually. Pick it up! No, another four! Reroll now or reroll next turn. Let's do it now. Stuff would be a lot safer if it worked. No! Well, 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 if he gets a ignoring threat, I might have to not score. <clears throat> he doesn't really get a Knorring Threat, does he? Which means I can just try to pick up with the Saurus. I don't... What do you mean Skink next turn? Why would I score with a Skink if I have a 1 in 3 chance of scoring with a Saurus? It's only a 2 out of 3 ch skank chance with the Skink. And Skink Star Player points are definitely worth less than half of a Saurus star player point, so I'm still doing it with the Saurus unless he has a Chloring Threat. If he has a Chloring Threat, I don't do it with anyone. Yep. <clears throat> One more shot at this. Wow, the Black Seed has been doing a splendid job. He's been keeping this Flesh Golem busy all the time. Yeah, so this is not going to be a clearing threat, which means I can just try with the source. Yay. <clears throat> also, it means I can do some blocks first. He hasn't made a single foul, has he? That's quite nice.
Maybe he will do so now, though. I could see that. Yeah, if you have a skink that's already good, then they become better. And of course, uh, simply getting a skink to the point where he becomes... He rolls well and becomes better. <laughs> oh, he's he's looking to get his wolf killed. Oh, he's dying. He's dying. No, he's not dead. I'm not dead. I think I had someone on five star player points, right? He should be blitzing. Can we get a three die or five, six, seven? Yes, we can. Oh, however, this guy should be there. In case the ball bounces there. Yeah, we can do it here. That's fine. Another four, yes. Um, I suppose it could bounce out of his hands into there as well. Four, five, six, but I can't get that. Because I need these three assists, as well as cancelling this one. So we three die this guy. Why are you not three dice? Oh, there's a guy here. I missed that. Damn it. I could have easily gone there. Ah, uh, I didn't see him covered in Croxigore. Well, I guess it's two die then. Alas. Here goes. No! Bounce into his hands? No! Not a six! Ah! Uh, I even put him there for it! Oh well. <laughs> it would have been so splendid if see if he failed to pick up and he rolled a six to get it. It's why he's there. Oh, Skink got smashed. He's fine. I don't think he'll risk his last wolf on that surf, though. He doesn't have a reroll. I don't think I'd be very inclined to uh, to have to uh, surf that. Especially if I had to dodge for it. Yeah, that'll do. That will do. Does it matter? It really doesn't. Still in one piece. File then. Oh, you can block there and file there, actually.
Uh, which he does. Oh yeah, I was going to make that an, an SFX as well, right? Yeah. Kumo, could you note that down, please? Thank you. Uh, it's from... Um, Winnie the Pooh, isn't it? <clears throat> Addressed to Piglet? Oh, it is from Babe. Really? Oh, well. Right. Later, Phil. Yay. Well... Pity about the second touchdown. Would have been nice to skill him on two touchdowns in one game. But, oh well. Five plus half die did the trick. I will accept these winnings because they are above average. I will not take that skink. Oh, the five star player point Soros got another MVP. Yay. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.